I'm going to describe how to use an interactive simulation that calculates temperature as a function of location in a composite wall, and it also calculates the heat flux for steady-state conduction. The simulations on the Learn Chem e site, a link is given here, and let's look at a snapshot of what the simulation looks like. So the idea is we have a temperature on the left that we can change with a slider. The temperature on the right is fixed. The thickness of the glass can be changed with this slider. The thickness of the stainless steel here can be changed with this slider. And the thickness of the concrete can be changed with the slider. And then the remaining thickness, since the total wall thickness of 10 centimeters does not change, is whatever it takes to get to 10 centimeters. The simulation allows us to change what the material is for this brick on the right. So the idea is the heat conduction, since it's a steady state through the glass, is the same as that through the concrete and through the stainless steel and through the brick. Because they have different thermal conductivities, then the temperature drop is going to be different. There's very small temperature drop through the stainless steel because it has high thermal conductivity. There's a larger temperature drop through the brick because it has a lower thermal conductivity. But the total resistance can be calculated. We know the thermal conductivities. So let's look at the simulation to see how things change as we change wall thicknesses. So here we have fiberglass, which is not a good thermal conductor. That's why it's used for insulation. Notice the heat flux, which we calculate, is very small. And also notice there's almost no temperature drop through these other walls. And I can change the thickness of those walls. But you can see still most temperature drop is through the fiberglass, small heat flux. If I replace that by lead, now not much temperature drop. And now the flux is significantly higher. If we decrease the thickness of the concrete, decrease the thickness of the glass, we can get much higher flux. And of course, if we were to increase the temperature left wall, then the heat flux also increases. Not much temperature drop through the stainless steel, high thermal conductivity, even though we have a very large thickness for the lead. Again, not a lot of temperature drop because high thermal conductivity. But the range, the heat flux can vary dramatically depending what the materials are. Lead replaced by brick. We are now most temperature drop through the brick. The heat flux is lower. So the idea, we, we can change the temperature of the wall. We can change each of the thicknesses to get a better idea how heat transfer through a, a wall composed of several materials changes with the thickness of each of the materials.